Hello everyone, welcome back to Angela's Craft Room. Today I'm doing a happy birthday card and I'm using these three stamp sets. So the hardwood one is going to be my background stamp and then I'm going to stamp this tree and the little boy and the ducks. So let's get started. Love it when I can use like three stamps all at once. So my base card, Early Espresso, normal measurements, 11 inches long by four and an eighth wide and scored at five and a half inches. Okay, so you might just grab the Misty tool and quickly stamp the inside of the card first. So I'm just going to grab the little boy and we'll just stamp him on the inside. And I just I don't want it really bright on the inside. It takes away from what you've created on the outside. So I just want some smoky slate and just press him down and that might be just a little bit light so we'll just go again and this is just why I love the misty tool so it's just darkened it up a little bit there so I'm just going to grab that put my misty tool over there out the way and grab my grid paper and I'm just going to apply that to the inside of the card. I'm on a roll today. I've been doing tutorial after tutorial just trying to catch up a bit because going on a little holiday and I just want to have enough tutorials there that I can publish them while I'm on holidays so you're still going to be getting plenty of tutorials so then I'm just going to put center that the best I can just So it's got a bit of sticky on it, so I'll just move it over. So then that's the inside of the card. So then I'm going to use a piece of very vanilla, and it measures five and a quarter inches by three and seven eighths. And I'm just going to grab out this lovely big stamp set, hardwood. Now Normally I would stamp it that way, but because the orientation of my card and because I want to put three stamps on the front, I need to do it this way. So I'm just going to stamp that up in crumb cake. So I think I said smoky slate earlier. Sorry about that. I do mean crumb cake. I stamp the inside of my card with crumb cake, not smoky slate. So just inked that up like that. And so then I'm just going to place that in the center. Then I'm going to pop my piece of photocopy paper over the top and just rub it all over and I find when I've got a really big background stamp this is the easiest way to apply it to my cardstock and it's just going to be completely covered okay so let me just grab the tweezers 
so that's our background turned out lovely so that is the best way when you've got such a big background stamp then I have to decide which way I want it to sit on my card because normally I would have it like that but I'm turning it today so I think I'll have it that way so then we're going to bring the misty back over and I've got that I left that little boy stamp there because I thought if I'm lucky enough he's going to be in the right position which he is so first I want to stamp my tree up here so I'm going to use a darker color which is going to be early espresso so this was crumb cake stamped on very vanilla and now I'm going to use early espresso which is a lot darker so I'm going to be stamping this tree here from lovely as a tree stamp set then I'm going to stamp it about there oh that wasn't a very good trick because that was where my stamp was now according to my grid lines that should be straight that tree but I don't think it is I'm just going to move it a smidgen according to the grid lines going along there it is straight and this is what I mean sometimes when they cut a stamp it isn't even though you use your grid lines it's not necessarily going to be straight and that's why I'm just going to stamp it up lightly sometimes I like to bring in a piece of scrap just photocopy paper make sure that that is stamp that's going to stamp straight which it is so I'm going to stamp my tree up again and I'll be stamping this a couple of times because I want to get a really good impression of that tree and this is just this is just stamping the tree so we want it to be really dark on that crumb cake so you can see with the second stamping that's quite dark so I don't need to do that again so I'm going to stamp the little boy and his ducks and if you wanted to you could actually add a little bit of green in there if you wanted to it's entirely up to you but this is just taking it to the next level we've done some videos that were just simply pure and simple stamping I might add some color to the little boy because he's not as um, prominent as the tree even though I've stamped it several times but you the more I stamp it the more I think do I really want to mess with it so I'm just going to grab just one of the stamping up blends and 
because I'm not sure because I didn't stamp in Memento Black to do it very carefully because if you go too close to those lines You're supposed to use memento black but I'm just gonna highlight this image so you can see that I'm not having to do any blending or anything like that and I'm just using the nib just to add a little bit of color because I felt that it toned in to the background stamp a little bit too much so and this is just another technique you can use you could use your colour pencils you could watercolour but these stamping blends are just so easy to use you can see that I'm not doing any blending, I'm just adding a little bit of colour you just have to be careful when the image is so small and I didn't plan to do this at the beginning of the tutorial but once I started stamping I felt it needed a little bit of colour and that is only a little bit of colour but it's and then I'm just going to grab a little bit of old olive and just add to the grass just a little bit of green There's just a few tufts of grass, so I'm not really worried too much, just a little bit of green. And then I'm just going to grab the pool party because he actually does have, the ducks are actually in a little bit of um, water. So I might change to the other end of the brush end and just flick out a little bit of water not too much just a really because we don't want to take away from the hardwood background stamp so it's just added a little bit of color there And if you wanted to, you could grab a little bit of yellow if you wanted to add some colour, just a little bit of colour to his overalls. And I'm doing this rather quickly. I'm not, I'm not doing any blending or anything like that. that just shows you how easy it is to colour with these stamping up blends I might have to do the side a little bit later then we might just grab the ivory and just do just go over his skin a little bit I just felt once I'd stamped the boy I just felt because the lovely as a tree has got a lot of definition on the stamp you can get away with just stamping it in a dark color but 
with the Heartlands, this image from the Heartland stamp set, it doesn't have much detailed definition. And if I didn't add the colour, I think it would have just got lost in the card. So that didn't take too long to do that. If you wanted to do his, you could even grab some smoky slate and just brush off don't colour his whole hair just sort of highlight it because otherwise it's going to be it would have been too dark if I'd done that so that's a lot better I'm quite happy with that so I'll remove those stamps and then I just need to put my happy birthday So I think I might put that up about there. So you can see how you can use more than you can use more than one stamp on a card. You can use several. And all we've done is stamped and added a little bit of colour. So I'm just going to see if that's straight I'm just adding a bit of black to that so I'll take my scrap piece of paper just want to make sure that that is straight which it is and I'm just going to use Memento Tuxedo Black and just add that sentiment I'll most probably have to re-stamp it. If you wanted to, like with the sentiment, you could stamp it and cut it out and pop it up on some dimensionals. If you wanted your sentiment to sit off the card. But I thought today I'll just follow on from those simple card tutorials I've been doing and where I'm just stamping I mean I did add a little bit of colour to the boy image but so that's quite vibrant at happy birthday but you can see how good like a misty tool or something similar number you can get them quite cheap the misty one isn't a cheap one but it does last you do get what you pay for so then we've got oops take that off we've got the front of our card okay so if you wanted to you could you could get your dobber that we did like in the previous video and you could like just do a little bit of highlight um, in that with green if you want to but I don't think I will I don't want to spoil the background so then all we've got to do is glue that to the front of our card like that so I'll just grab some Tombow glue and the only thing, it was just at a different angle. I just couldn't get right to the edge of his overall. So I'll just go down there. And just that pool party, just where there's a little bit of water it's just the image of where the stamping because I don't know if you can tell but they're actually walking through water even though there's a bit of grass there they're actually walking through a little bit of water as well
So it just adds a little bit of colour. So we'll just grab the Tombow glue and just pop it down the sides. And if you want a tutorial on anything particular, just make sure you message me in the comments and I will try the best I can. I mightn't have the exact stamp that you want, but if it's a technique or something, So then we're just going to pop that down in the center. So we don't want to add any ribbon or anything because it will take away from that beautiful background stamp. So you can see like the tree is in the background and the little boy's just walking up to the tree. Another way you could have it in the Heartland stamp set is a tractor with a dog sitting next to the tractor which is this image here that would look really good on a card done this way as well but where you stamp you'd have to stamp the tree in this corner and the, the way the tractor's facing have the tractor down here and your sentiment over here but that would be just moving you know it's just the way you're stamping so just make sure when you're doing these little scenes we are creating a little scene with that you think you do take a bit of thought to how that's gonna when you stamp it down because if I if I put the tree up there, if I put the tree here, if I'd stamped the tractor, it would have been facing that way, which wouldn't have looked like the tractor belonged to the tree. I hope that makes sense. That's from the Heartland stamp set. So there we go. So let's get that out of the way. That's our card for today and I just think it's it's quite effective with the background stamp. There's no sponging, it's just simply stamping and all we did was just add a little bit of colour to the Heartland's image there of the boy and the ducks. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial today and I hope you'll take some of the techniques away and the hints that I'm giving you and create your own cards. I'm more than happy for you to copy what I do exactly. It doesn't bother me in the least. But um, please subscribe to my channel. And until next time, happy crafting.